Hello, Mountain Lovers. Ken Hovey with Vail Valley Live and Mountain Television, filling in for Trisha Swenson this week for Trisha's Picks. And for this week's episode, we're talking about nothing else except for the opening of Vail Mountain for the 2024-25 ski season. Lifts are gonna open up at nine o'clock, November 15th, that's this Friday, and they're gonna open up with approximately 100 acres of skiing and riding on the front side of the mountain, and I'll break it down for you. If you're headed out of Lion's Head, this is gonna be more beginner intermediate skiing on Ram's Horn and Swingsville, and if you wanted to, you could also go over to Vail Village where they're going to have Gondola One open. The resort is also going to be opening up terrain accessible by Avanti Express, that's Chair 2, but beginners are encouraged to ride the Eagle Bond Gondola and the Little, bon or the little Eagle Lift, which is Chair 15. That's the best experience for learning to ski and ride. Now, if you are coming out for opening day, it is gonna be a blast and Vail is doing it in style. They're gonna be handing out complimentary strudel as well as hot chocolate and coffee. And they're even gonna have a DJ, a live party that's gonna be taking place over at the base of Gondola One once you get off the mountain. And the good news also is that if you are thinking about starting your year off on the right foot and taking a ski school lesson, those will be available. Reservations for Vail Mountain Ski School are available starting on opening day beginner lessons should be booked out of the lion's head gondola and the best way to learn about these options is by going online to veil.com and also if you're thinking about eating up on top of the mountain there will be a dining option up there veil's new power line pub will be open and they have beverage service up there and some food so if you're on the mountain you want to eat and have a drink you can do it or down here at the base area I'm at the Arabella Vail Square where they will also be opening up on limited areas, but you'll be able to ride down here to the base and enjoy some refreshments and some food. They're also gonna have the scenic gondola passes available. So if you're not a skier or rider and you do wanna go up on the mountain, that will also be an option for you and you can purchase those tickets. As far as locations to park and transportation, the free in-town bus will be going and also they will have the parking structures opened up as well and then if you need your ski pass and you don't want to pay the premium of the ticket at the lift ticket office by walking up there you're still able to purchase your epic pass all the way up until november 17th until those prices go up so we're looking forward to a great opening day here on Vail, and then beaver creek will be coming up shortly and we'll have information on that as well and if also you're considering the weather because there's other things to do up here besides ski and ride. We can still fly fish. There's even biking available down in the western portion of Eagle County, down in Eagle and Gypsum. It's actually rather dry down there. The weather looks awesome for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Your opening weekend weather. Daytime highs here in Vail will be in the 30s and overnight lows in the teens, mostly sunny skies. The great news with those colder temperatures is they can get those snow guns fired up and continue to make more snow. Well, thanks for letting me cover for Trisha. She'll be back next week. She's taking just a little hiatus in sunnier weather, but hopefully we'll see you up here on the mountain.